Hello Virgo, welcome back to the Illust Illuminator. So we are going to do the He Said She Said spread for the month of September and congratulations to everyone. I'm sending you a lot of love and blessings with your birthday month. I hope you have a blessed one filled with abundance, love and light. So I was getting this vibe that, oh shit, I just missed it. Oh, I wanted to show you, but anyway, I got twice the Ace of Cup. No, I did not. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Never mind. But I saw twice the Ace of Cups at the bottom of your reading. So, I'm getting this vibe that some of you are very confused whether you should stick around for someone or you should move on. You're contemplating whether it is worth it or not. And I feel like you guys have been in this contemplation mood for a very long time. I do know that the last couple of readings were not that positive, but hey, that's life. Sometimes it goes up, it, sometimes it goes down. Can do nothing about that. And it's all energies, right? So nothing is, you know, standing there forever. And I do get the sense that there is someone that you have a deep connection with. This could be also a new, connection that's coming in. This is a very strong soulmate connection. Someone wants to talk to you or communicate to you or even reconcile with you. So if you have been separate from this individual, you have been in your separate corners, this person is about to reach out to you is what was what I was getting. All right, and you showed up in a couple of readings actually. Um, definitely in Aquarius reading, you were very, very prominent in their reading. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, please do go watch that one. Or if you have your moon or rising or Venus there. Past energy for... Ooh, I like that. Oh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. This is you saying no to the booty calls. Sorry, I had to say it. It was just blood saggy. But anyway, this is saying no to anyone that has been coming in and out of your life, only seeking out for adventure and not giving you any stability. You making a decision to cut clear. You have gained enough wisdom and clarity about this individual, about their acts, and you are cutting out. You've, you've got your truth about their true colors. And this is you stepping up to the plate. This is you being in your power, being, you know, seeing your own word, your self word, and everything that this person has actually put you through. And you're saying like, no. I've seen the light, I've seen the truth, I got my communication or I got what I wanted, bye bye. So this is definitely for those who, you know, choose themselves over an F boy. That's kind of like the energy that I'm getting here. All right. So you've got your epiphany, you've got your clarity. It could be from the same individual, but it could also be from spirit. We got the hermit here with the page of wands so someone is going to communicate with you i'm not sure if they like what they did to you all right see i told you judgment reverse that's what i said to you i'm telling you they they know that they're self-examinating their own behaviors towards you and they know that they put you through a lot of bs ten of wands here so it was unfair. This was an unfair treatment. They put all the blame on you. They put all the guilt on you. They put all the work on you, all the responsibilities on you. Do I need to? Oh no. Yay, I thought I did not press the mic button, but I did. All right, so. The bloopers, the bloopers. Yeah, they know very well they did not put any energy and effort into this connection and they are coming to regret it and they are already. Let's see what their past energy was. What did they do to you? Yeah, four of wands reversed. Knight of cups reversed, definitely. Playboy, not giving you love, not giving you anything. Walking in and out of your life, being very shabby, not you know, they make it this, they plan out a date, but they don't show up. That, that, this, this man was a no show up. Okay, so 
in the past. So let's see. This man was a no-show of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra is here. All right. What's the present energy? Yeah, Page of Cups. Someone coming in. This could be a new new energy as well. Okay. This could definitely be a new energy because I feel like you are ready for something new as well. Uh, if not, this is definitely someone coming in with an apology, okay? They want to show their innocence to you. They are going to come in with a sincere message, all right? Strength card. But you are ready to hold a little bit back from this individual, all right? You've gathered a lot of strength to focus on yourself and to overcome all the difficulties in the past. This truth that you have heard or recognized, it was something that was very tough and that's what you had to overcome, all right? So this is you showing your strength, showing that you will not fall for this kind of energy and showing that you have changed. And with your change, the other person is also, you know, triggered to make a change. Queen of Wands, it's, ooh. I see a lot of fiery energy. This is definitely that Leo kind of energy that you have. For those who are in cusp, definitely watch the Leo reading. It was also very, very interesting. But this is you getting the confidence back, all right? Like you eliminate the truth. You speak your mind. You speak your truth about your word. And you tell it exactly how it is towards this individual. I absolutely love your energy here. I love it. Nobody can mess around with you, you know. You're wearing your heart on your sleeve. You don't back down of uh, telling your truth, which people admire about you. And you have a lot of attention, all right? You get a lot of attention from the outside. You know, I feel an energy of like, you, you get attention from people that you did not expect to get attention from. This could also be like just regular people. It does not have to be love situations, but I feel like a lot of people recognized you and showed you that you have overcome a huge, um, I don't know, some kind of a responsibility in your life and they showed your respect. Like they sh they're going to show you a lot of respect for what you have gone through. Oh boy. I'm sorry. Seven of Swords with the Nine of Wands. So someone is defending their lies, all right? So this is someone that sneaks out, they have a hidden agenda here, and they think that they are doing the right thing. This is, this is like the worst kind of people when they know they are shady and they're not up to anything good, but they act like, you know, they are the wounded warrior. You get what I mean? Like, oh, I had to give, I had to lie to you about that because, you know, oh, blah, 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 blah. That's kind of like the energy, like that someone that is also always trying to be like the wounded one. Like, I had no other option. I, I, I did not have any other option but to sneak out or to never respond or to ghost you. Like, I was in such a difficult situation. I had to protect myself. Everyone was attacking me. I had no other option but, and you're just like, come again. But they're not, very comfortable laying their head on the pillow here with this four of swords in the reverse a lot of sleepless night restless nights and subconscious eating up their brain all right so this person is still sneaky this person is has still not changed they're still not sharing all their thoughts all right, they are trying to hide a lot from you and they are not trying to let you in and they're doing their best to, hmm, let me just, I'll get back to that a little later. What's the blockage for Virgo? This is a very interesting reading so far. Finally, Virgo, you've been a bit, uh, ooh, four of wands. Look at all these cars being in the, in the upright, like, girl. Wow, another one in the upright and the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords and we still have the Miss Queen of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this is a very creepy message. 
and I need to tell it, but someone is creeping around your house, all right? Someone is lurking inside your house. And I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Oh, I, I'm getting a very freaky, freaky feeling from this. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is someone that is definitely watching you. All right, if they are your neighbors, I don't know who it is. It could be your love interest. It, it could be anyone, but they are watching you like a hawk in the sky. If they know where you live, they are watching to see if you are getting inside with another fella or another woman. So be mindful of that energy. Close the curtains. <laughs> see vous plaît. Close those curtains because this person is this close of harassing you a bit within your home situation. It's not that, like, it's creepy. It's, it's creepy. But it's not like harassing as in like they're gonna come and touch you and stuff. But like they're this close and like touching your hair when you walk by or something. Like, they're close. They're very close. So be mindful of that. Change the locks, please. Change the locks. Those who, well, that's, that's the message that I'm getting. I cannot escape that message. Whomever you're dealing with, this is someone that is still holding tabs on you, like I said. Uh, I feel like they are investing in different areas as well. It could be fine, like in career, but it could also be someone else. We got the Queen of Wands here popping up in their blockage. So they are, they could be waiting on a Queen of Wands individual. So a fire sign, so there's Aries or Leo, or they are waiting for you to take action because they are a bit intimidated by your energy. All right, this person may be waiting for you to take action because they don't know where you stand because you're standing tall and strong and that creeps them out so that's why they are watching you like a hawk in the sky here but they have a lot of emotions for you it could be a water sign cancer pisces or a scorpio but this person has deep deep feelings for you and they're thinking about you heavily they're thinking about you heavily but they know that what they did was shady and they don't have the guts to initiate the conversation that's why they are waiting for someone else to take action hopes is the hierophant with the five of swords in the reverse so you're hoping to get clarity about who won and who lost in the situation all right you've had a lot of conflicts with this individual you could have had a lot of disputes regarding your you know regarding some up, like upbringings or you know about whether you both are going to be committed or not and I feel that you've been through a lot like hell on earth with this individual you've been really through the ringer and you are now seeking for that clarity you are ready to withdraw okay you are handing out the sword and you want to be the bigger person I feel like you have changed so much that if anyone is not matching your energy anymore they are going to drop like that there is no absolutely no way because if you are going to still deal with someone that is shady then you are going to downgrade yourself at this point you get what I mean so your energy is absolutely the best energy I've ever seen for you and look at that the two of cups you want to have clarity do you recognize this connection or not do you recognize or do you want this union or not because I want to settle down I want to have you know something that I can commit to something that I can work on and something that I can you know I, you understand that there will be arguments all right but you don't want to deal with those mind games arguments you want to deal with like intellectual arguments all right like that kind of energy is what you are uh, sending out and it's very very positive and it's very intimidating but if someone is still going to be in this defensive mood like defending their shadiness and being sneaky defending their sneakiness you know you cannot deal with that energy if you do want to deal with that energy that's completely fine but then you will just like take like 10 steps backward because you've been so strong and you're moving on so strongly 
that that's just like going backwards. Like, why would you go backwards? Also, I'm getting the sense that you want to know why, if, if this relationship would not work out, you want to hear from them why, right? You want to hear from them why. And I feel like this person is very much in denial with themselves. They're very much in denial with themselves. They're, they cannot be truthful towards themselves. This is a lot of self-deceit as well. Like they always leave, but then they have, always have their eyes in their back in case you would leave them. Or this is a person that rather leaves you before you leave them. Like that's kind of like the energy that I'm getting. Eight of Swords. They want to be stuck in this situation. They want to be stuck in their mind, not never be sure whether they make the right decision or not. Like this is someone that wants to keep you blinded towards their own um, negative sides. Like they, they don't want you to see all that they can't offer. You get what I mean? Like they want to keep you blindfolded about their flaws. But you already saw it. And you still wanted to actually be with them. You still wanted to, you know, uh, nurture them and be there for them. It's, it's kind of like that wounded warrior with the empath. You know, when you are very empathic, you draw people that are completely, you know, torn apart. And you, you usually draw a lot of negative energy when you are an empath. And this might be one of the people that you have been dr drawing to yourself. And that's because you can see that someone has a good side and you believe that side. You want to believe that they only have that good side or even if they have that negative side of, the, of theirs, you want to see only their positive side. And that's because you're an empath and you want to help them. You want to nurture them. You want to take care of that wounded warrior. And because of that, we tend to like turn a blind eye towards the negative sides. And that's what an empath goes through. So you have definitely been in the cycle of being the empath. I don't, I don't want to say that this is a narcissist, but it is someone that likes to bedazzle, you know, like to bedazzle their, their um, negative sides. And it's not that you didn't see it, like I said to you earlier on. It's more that you like to see their positive attributes or used to. So their hopes is the Eight of Swords and the Page of Swords in the reverse wanted to come out. So I feel that they do. Mm. I know you don't, you're not going to like that, but something in me tells me that when they speak something up, it's first going to hurt you. It's first going to hurt you. Because they're not ready to see their dark self. That's the problem. Like, you see that. that. I can see what is going on here. Like, this is crazy. Because you see their dark... Their, you see their darkness. Sorry for mumbling. You see their darkness, but they don't want to see their own darkness because that would mean that they need to work on it and they don't want to work on that. You get what I mean? And that's the reason why it doesn't work. Because you can see right through them. You can see right through their soul. Like, who are they kidding? And they know that. And that's why they, they, they are afraid to look in the mirror. This is the man in the mirror that does not want to work on that man in the mirror. So you exposing those truths about them is something that they don't appreciate. And it's not that they don't appreciate you. They just don't appreciate themselves and their dark wounds. And you just, you know, expose it. You expose it all. That, that's what soulmates do, right? Like they expose. Like when, when you meet a soulmate, you will look them in the eye. And, and if you are very intuitive and empathic, you will know, you will scan everything about them. Like everything about their history, about who they are as a person. And they would not even have to open up their mouth once. And once they figure out that you can do that to, to them, because you will say things at the same time, at the exact right timing, or you would say things that nobody knows to them. They will start to withdraw and they will start to 
panic out in their head as in like, oh boy, this person exposed me to a tea. All right, that's just kind of like living with the illus illuminator, right? <laughs> Nobody wants that, right? I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life. I, I, I can tell you that. <laughs> just Eight of Wands with the Strength card, but they do want to communicate so strongly, but they're holding back because the moment that they will open up their mouth, you will just like, pew, you will know exactly what has been going on in their life or what they are trying to say or where they're going, but they do really want to communicate. And I told you this before as well. Here we have the strength with the eight of wands. That is like, I want to put the work in it. Eight is abundance. It's continuously putting work and effort in it. You got another eight here in the reverse. They don't just want to put the actual effort in it. This is also your card, sun in Virgo. So confused, they want to keep you confused about the fact that it's not working. I'm telling you that it's 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 your it's you. It's because of you. And that's because you are just being truthful. You are being the illuminator here. The Emperor. You got the King of Cups here. So I'm going to pull some cards for the extended. The fears and the outside influences. Oh, see, he wanted to come out. This is such a powerful reading. Oh my god. King of Cups and the lowest card in the reverse. What is the outside or fears for the other person, please? Wow, fears is the fears with the five of wands and the four of cups. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, my dear Virgo, again, thank you so much for being here. I really hope this reading helped you guys out. Um, so, yeah, I will continue this video. The link is down in the description box below this video. Sorry, I'm just a bit flabbergasted because I want to continue with the reading and I need to cut it off. I know you hate it too, but, you know, I need to cut it off somewhere. So thank you so much and I see you guys soon. Happy, happy birthday and thank you so much for your love, light and support. Blessings to you and bye.